ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਫਿਰ ਆਪ ਸਭ ਦਾ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੇਰਾ ਸਾਥ ਦੇਣਗੇ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਸਾਹਿਰਾ ਸਾਫਜ਼ਾ ਲੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਸਾਈਕੋਥੈਰੇਪਿਸਟ ਨੇ ਅੱਜ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਕੋਲੋਂ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲਾਂਗੇ ਪੋਸਟ ਪਾਰਟਮ ਡਿਪਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਸੰਬੰਧ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੋਸਟ ਪਾਰਟਮ ਡਿਪਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਖਾਸ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਡਿਪਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਹੋ ਜਾਏ ਤਾਂ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਕੀ ਰੋਲ ਪਲੇ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਕਿਹੜੀ ਟ੍ਰੀਟਮੈਂਟ ਦੀ ਲੈਣ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਸਾਹਿਰਾ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਕੋਲੋਂ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲੈਣ ਲਈ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਥੈਂਕਸ ਫॉर ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਮੀ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਐਸ ਅ ਸਾਈਕੋਥੈਰੇਪਿਸਟ ਯੂ نو ਯੂ ਅਬਜ਼ਰਵ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਕੇਸਸ ਸਫਰਿੰਗ ਫਰਮ ਪੋਸਟ ਪਾਰਟਮ ਡਿਪਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਵਾਟ ਇਸ ਪੋਸਟ ਪਾਰਟਮ ਡਿਪਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਸੋ ਪੋਸਟ ਪਾਰਟਮ ਡਿਪਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਇਸ ਵੈਨ ਅ ਵੂਮਨ ਹੈਜ਼ ਅ ਬੇਬੀ ਓਕੇ ਔਰ ਈਵਨ ਸਮਟਾਈਮਸ ਵਾਈਲ ਸ਼ੀ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੈਗਨੈਂਟ ਦੇ ਹੈਵ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਚੇਂਜਡ ਦਾ ਵਰਡ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਪੋਸਟ ਨੇਟਲ ਡਿਪਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਸੋ ਸ਼ੀ ਕੁਡ ਬੀ ਪ੍ਰੈਗਨੈਂਟ ਔਰ ਹੈਵ ਡਿਲੀਵਰਡ ਦਾ ਬੇਬੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਐਂਡ ਸ਼ੀ ਡਜ਼ਨਟ ਫੀਲ ਗੁੱਡ ਸ਼ੀ ਡਜ਼ਨਟ ਫੀਲ ਥੋਸ ਜੋਇਫੁਲ ਫੀਲਿੰਗਸ ਦੈਟ ਅ ਨਿਊ ਮਦਰ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਫੀਲ ਸ਼ੀ ਡਜ਼ਨਟ ਫੀਲ ਕਨੈਕਟਡ ਟੂ ਹਰ ਬੇਬੀ ਸ਼ੀ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਇਜ਼ਨਟ ਰੀਲੀ ਇੰਟਰਸਟਿਡ ਇਨ ਹਰ ਬੇਬੀ ਸ਼ੀ ਮਾਈਟ ਬੀ ਵੈਰੀ ਐਂਗਰੀ ਸ਼ੀ ਮਾਈਟ ਬੀ ਵੈਰੀ ਫਲੈਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਥੇਰ ਇਜ਼ ਜਸਟ ਨੋ she's not her normal self after right. the birth of the baby so what's the reason uh, which has been coming forward regarding why is she not interested in the baby as such so it's partly hormonal like okay. there's you know there's a, an imbalance and so she's not able to respond the way that you know the, her her brain is just not allowing her to respond in that way mm-hmm. um mothers who have postpartum depression often their children will grow up and and have the same so it's a combination of you know w- w- what we know about depression in general is it's a combination of um you know if it was in your family but also the environmental factors and you know your stressors and things like that but there's you know people say well how can i prevent mm-hmm. postpartum depression and there really isn't much we can do except mm-hmm. um make sure that the woman is very very well supported um okay. at leading up to the birth of the baby so when do you call this a postpartum depression uh, you know the mood swings what you're observing mm-hmm. is there a particular time frame which you uh, allocate to term it as a depression or it's just a mood swing That's a great question. So there's something called the baby blues, right? Okay. Which happens after for, for a lot of women after they have a baby because, you know, their whole identity has changed, especially after the first baby. Um suddenly they can't do the things they used to do. Suddenly mm. their outings are different, they're sleep deprived, all of mm-hmm. these things are going on. Um and that's that's natural and normal. But if it's not getting better over a couple of weeks, if it's not lifting, and especially the the main way to tell is if the mother doesn't seem to be bonding with her child. She's feeling like it's a heavy burden she's not able to get excited she doesn't want to even look at the child right. then you know something more is going on than just a regular baby blues mm-hmm. so as you uh, gave the signs by which you can uh, find out that whether a lady is not uh, you know is is going into this phase of depression mm-hmm. so the question that arises is the over the years uh, what, what what are there any statistics or what is the observance uh, coming forward that uh, the number of cases is equal down or up and if so again any particular reasons or uh, studies which show that there are some particular reasons for this general mood of swing it's a really good question so we do i don't have all the stats on the right. top of my mind but a couple of ones that i'd like to share with you is that in the general population um postpartum depression according to the postpartum depression society of bc is approximately in 20ish 20 22% so okay. that's quite significant quite high, yeah but with women of color mm-hmm. it's 50% Wow. 50% of mm-hmm. women of color. So that's why I think it's really important to talk to it in our community to right. say your chances are high. Mm-hmm. Um and you think about, you know, why is it happening now all of a sudden? Part of it is, you know, the support for mothers. We right. just simply don't have the support for mothers that we used to have back home. Right. Um there's a lot of stressors. Sometimes mothers might be also juggling a career, thinking about going back to a career or, mm-hmm. you know, h- how am I going to do all this? So you know she may be on maternity leave so she feels like i only have this much time mm. to quickly quickly look after the baby and then i'm back to work so the stressors are very different now than they were 50 or 100 years ago where our communities were much more connected right. and the mother wasn't the only one managing the baby there was other men and women to help as well right so dr saira here it is very important for the family to come forward to support the lady and especially as you said women of color yeah. 50% is a very high incidence it's so disturbing when i learned this i thought we have to tell everybody we know because that means it's a 50/50 chance and you right. know i had two children my first child i had postpartum depression mm-hmm. my second child i didn't mm. and with the first child i thought wow this is really hard having a baby right. and the second child i got all those natural you know mm-hmm. chemicals and i felt so joyful right. right and thought wow if i knew this was what a baby was like i would have so many <laughs> few more right? right but that first experience was so troubling and i had family support mm-
it was shameful a little mm -hmm. bit, right? Like, how can I admit that something's wrong with me? Right. I'm a mother, I should so be able to do this. You were very closed about it, right? Yeah, so, so even me, somebody who's in the field, mm. it was hard for me to admit that I had a problem. Mm -hmm. And it's only looking back that I realized what was happening. So for any women who are thinking, you know, maybe this doesn't feel good, this doesn't feel normal, it's right. I should feel happier, mm -hmm. they just can just talk to their doctors and get some support. Right. Yeah. But along with that, the family support, as you said, is very essential. What kind of family support should be provided if a lady is passing through this phase? Great question. So one of the things is, you know, sometimes we have this advice that we think is going to be helpful. Like mm. people will say, oh, but look, you have such a healthy baby and why are you depressed? And mm. That doesn't help because she, the woman is not trying to be depressed. Right. It's something that's happening in her brain. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that family members could do is try to understand okay. um, and try to encourage her to seek professional support as mm -hmm. soon as possible. Right. Because one of the impacts that postpartum depression has is on the child itself. So I'll okay. give you an example. Mm -hmm. There's an experiment that was done called the still face experiment. Right. Okay. So the mother is interacting with the baby, um, you know, smiling, talking, and then suddenly the mother has a flat face, no mm -hmm. expression. Mm -hmm. And you can see the baby is slowly starting to get more and more and more agitated, mm -hmm. aggravated, first like trying to do cute things, right. eventually, you know, melting down, eventually crying and screaming because the mother is just not responding. Mm -hmm. The baby is looking to the mother for those cues of I'm safe, I'm okay. Now if the, with depression, right. you have a you blank know you, face, yeah. you have a blank face and mm -hmm. so the impact on the baby's brain development in those first few months, mm -hmm. it has an impact. Right? right when the mother holds the baby but doesn't want to look at the baby, the baby is relying on that eye contact to start forming connections in the brain that mm. this world is a safe place I am looked after mm -hmm. right so if the mother doesn't get the support she needs as soon as possible it actually has a lifelong impact on that baby mm -hmm. yeah. so counseling is one aspect uh, but along with that is there any medication also which uh, can be used for yeah there this are treatment? so and, th and the best thing for somebody to do is talk to their own family doctor and right. kind of explain what's been happening mm -hmm. um, and the family doctor will probably suggest either counseling or a support group with other mothers right um, maybe in combination with, with mm -hmm. some medication so as you said, you know, counseling is important, but until and unless the lady who is in trouble comes mm -hmm. forward and accepts that she is passing through the space, nothing can change. That's right. And that's why, again, family is so important because sometimes when you're in it, right. you can't see what you're in. And so, the, you know, the, the husbands, mm -hmm. the, the other children, the siblings, others who she trusts right. to say, you know, it, you look like you're struggling and it's not because you're a bad mother, mm -hmm. um, but let's see how we can get you some support. Mm -hmm. Finally, with your experience, any advice on this particular call? I think my best advice is what you just mentioned, is mm -hmm. that um, for those women who think they may be experiencing something, seek help soon. Right. Um, don't think you can push past this, because mm -hmm. you may be able to in three months, six months, but in the meantime, what's happened to your baby and those, those critical moments that your baby needs? Mm -hmm. um, and for the family members, there's no shame. There's right. no shame. I mean, we, you know, as a community, we're learning about mental health. We're learning about the importance of being well, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally. Right. And so let's just put that shame aside and come forward and get the help we need. Wonderful. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thanks yeah. for this information, for coming over here and sharing this knowledge with our viewers. Thank you. Thank you.